Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn basics of application composer. What is application composer? Why it is used? And also we are going to create a custom object with the help of application composer. So here I have listed down few steps with which we are going to do the hands on today. The video series on application composer we have split into two parts. So current video is part of this part one series and the next video that is part two video on application composer in that we will learn how to invoke a web service any external web service. So we are considering a rest API which we will invoke with the help of groovy script within a function and we will update one of the fields in the custom object instance at runtime as part of this part two demonstration. Now let's begin with this part one that is on creating the custom object with the help of application composer. Before getting directly into the hands on or the lab, we will just walk through the official documentation page by Oracle on configuring applications using application composer. I am here in the about section of application composer. So at high level application composer is a browser based configuration tool which will enable business analyst administrators not just application developer that is to extend their applications. For example, easily create a new object and related fields then create new user interface pages where that object and its fields are exposed to users. With the help of application composer we can create a custom object or we can make use of the seeded objects which oracle provides as part of the CRM or ERP SCM applications and we can add the custom fields or altogether the pages that is with the help of this browser based configuration tool directly from your fusion cloud instance. So here there are a few highlights about application composer all these things we have to do with by creating a sandbox. So I will provide the link for this documentation in my blog please check out the blog for more details. In order to configure application that is by using application composer or to create a custom object we need to have some roles assigned to our user that is provided over here. First. And the foremost thing we need to have this application implementation role and the second thing is custom objects admin role is a required in order to test our objects in the sandbox else even if we create the custom object we won't be able to test our application. Let's now go to our lab. The first step is we need to create a sandbox we will create a sandbox now I'm providing the name for my sandbox some dummy name abc app composer we have to select whether it's a publishable or no I'm giving it as S yes. for learning purpose you can select it as no as well. So in the tools we have to select this application composer and structure. Structure is optional but you need to select this application composer. Description if any you can provide it over here I'm keeping this as blank and clicking on create and enter. On clicking create and enter if you don't land on this application composer page then you can click on this navigator button over here. Under configuration there is application composer clicking on this you can land over here. Now in the application we have to select CRM cloud or ERP SCM. So earlier application composer was supporting only CRM cloud applications. Now ERP and SCM are also supported based on your application you can select accordingly from here in the drop down. I am keeping this as default that is CRM or cloud expand the objects that is standard objects. You can see the bunch of objects which Oracle provides over here these are the seeded. So this also we can customize and we are not covering this in this video. If you want us to cover those things in our channel then please let us know in the comment section. Now this was part of the CRM cloud if we go to ERP and SCM cloud and click on this and standard objects. You can find the objects related to SCM or the ERP cloud uh, and the objects currently supported for ERP and SCM cloud is less because this is recently been supported for ERP and SCM cloud for CRM you can find lot many objects compared to SCM. Now we are going to create a custom object so in order to create a custom object click on this plus button over here. Provide name over here I am providing demo application 03 just about it will populate rest of the details plural label record name label and record name data type this instead of text I want oracle to automatically generate the sequence this sequence is nothing but whenever the instance of this custom object is created that is at runtime a unique number will be assigned to each instance of this object when we test the application I will show you what it is as of now 
I'm giving the sample what Oracle has provided over here. You can customize this as per your need. Instead of SR, let me put S. Object name, uh, I'm keeping default. Click on OK. This will take few minutes to create a custom object for us. We'll continue this video once our custom object has been created. Our demo application 3 custom object has been created. Clicking on this demo application 03, there is an option to change the icon, how it will be displayed in the navigator. Click on this change icon over here and select the appropriate icon. I will select this trophy icon over here. Yeah, it has been selected. If you want to create some child object that is demo application object is having a child object, say demo application 03 child 01, then we can create by clicking on this. We are not covering this as part of this video. Let us know in the comments if you are looking for creating child objects so that we can cover in our future videos. So let me keep everything default and go to fields. So for the demonstration purpose, what we'll do is in our landing page, we'll create few fields that is name, job, ID and other details. Name and job is what the user is going to populate. Once the user populates those record and clicks on the create button, that user will be created in the system and we are getting the ID which is generated by the system and the details like the date and other stuff. As of now, on click of this create button, we will hard code the ID and details. But in part two, we will call a REST API to do this job. Whenever a user enters the details for a user to be created, then we are this groovy script will invoke a REST API, create that user, get the unique ID created and the date and return back. In the fields, we have to click on this create custom field icon over here and select the type. As we are creating the field for name, I am keeping this as text. Give the name as name. It will populate unique name over here and the first letter will be in caps. Looks good. Click on save and close. This will create a API name which we need to copy and save it over here. This I will tell you why I have copied when we are going to create the functions or the groovy script. Now we have created one field. Let me create three more fields. Next field is for job and it is of type text. I'm giving the display name as job. Name will be auto populated. Save and close. Next field we are going to create for ID. And then and the last field we need to create is for details. I have got the API names for all the other fields like job ID and details like how I have got for name. So once you are done by creating with all the fields, next thing is creating the pages, which is the step number three. We have created the sandbox, then we created the custom object, then we created the fields in the custom object. Now we are creating the page on clicking the page option over here. We are landing into application pages and there is an option to create default pages. We need to click on this. This will take some time to create the landing page, creation page and the details page. So we'll pause the video for some time. So the pages has been created for us and it has taken nearly one minute to create all the pages. 
So in the landing page, we need to customize this page by clicking on this default custom layout. Click on this summary table edit option over here. So I don't want created by to be shown in the landing page or the owner also. Let me remove those. But I want name and job to be displayed and last updated date and demo application three name. That's it. I want in the landing page save and close. Click on done. Creation page we need to edit now. Click on this default custom layout now. Click on the button over here that is new field group. Here provide the name as create. If you want you can click on this enable, expand and collapse. If you don't want you can uncheck. Click on next. Here in the creation page I need the name. I need the job. Yeah, that's it. Click on save and close. Yeah, click on done. You need to modify now details page. Click on this default custom layout under details page layouts. Click on this edit summary. Here I don't want to show the owner in details created by as well I am hiding but I want the name I want the job what user has entered I want the ID what has been written by the web service also the details any additional details what the web service has thrown back to us click on save and close now once the user enters the details in the create page I will try to add a custom button on click of which it will invoke a web service to create a user in order to do that we have to go to this actions and links and click on this create button over here in order to create a link display name i'm giving as create a user tab out we need to save and edit the record As I told, I will be making use of Groovy script in order to hard code that ID and details fields. Click on this plus button over here. It will create a new server script under the objects. Here I am giving the name as create user function tab out. Here I am making a use of set attribute of ID, ID I am providing within quotes. So let me hard code this to 100. And the second attribute what I am going to set is this details underscore C. We need to provide the API name. Details, I am putting some dummy date like created on. 08 March 2022. If you want to print something, you can do that with the help of println command. This is our first application composer demo. Once done, click on this validate button over here. Uh, looks like there is some error. I have missed the single quote over here. Let me add that and click on the validate button again. Yeah, now we are getting the message as script pass successfully. Click on OK, save and close. Now in the method, we have to select this create user function, which we created just now and click on this save button over here. So our actions and links will be created which will be displayed under the display label as what we had provided that is create user name. Now go back to our pages 
under the details page layout you have to go to this edit button over here and toggle this create user button over here and click on save and close now we are good to test this custom object in order to access this page we have to go to navigator so under others section you will find your application that is demo application 3 what we have created click on this as you can see we are in the landing page so in the landing page i had selected the name and the job and the last updated date this is a sequence number let me show you how it populates the details click on this create button and on the create page layout i had provided only two fields that is name and the job name i am giving as name 01 job is consultant looks good click on save and continue so now it will take us to details page in the details page i had embedded this create user button which we are seeing over here click on this create user now it will populate details that is id and details which we had done with the help of groovy script click on save and close so this will be available over here this is the unique number what i had shown you at the time of creating the custom object I had provided as hyphen and the recommendation of oracle so if we create a second user so it will be having a unique number over here in a row wise now suppose if something goes wrong and you want to monitor the logs then you can do that with the help of application composer you have to go down to the common setup and in the common setup there is option for runtime messages click on this over here you will find the messages like the println we had printed this is our first application composer demo like this we can monitor the runtime messages with the help of application composer so in this video we had learned the basics of application composer wherein we had created a sandbox created a custom object created the fields within that created a page that is landing page creation page details page we created a button and in the groovy script we tried to set the fields which are available in our details page and we tested the custom object and also we had seen how to monitor the runtime logs please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video